I have a question. Are you ready to drink Curious? The type of Curious that's going to take five years, cover 60 spirits, all from a single distillery? If you're ready for that type of adventure, we invite you to join us. Because that adventure starts right now, right here, and with this, the X1. For those who don't know, Still 630 is the best damn craft distillery in the whole entire world, located right downtown St. Louis. It's my passion and ambition here. It's a craft distillery made from scratch. We got handmade pot stills. Our global footprint right now is the greater St. Louis area and a handful of places down in Columbia, Missouri. We focus on rum, whiskey, and now gin. We're looking to push the boundaries here with our experimental series. Do you hear that? The best goddamn craft distillery in the whole entire world. Oh man, Dave, that's some, some big words. And you know, people say taste is subjective, but I tell you what, you meet Dave, you spend some time with him at the distillery and you might just come out a believer. He's got amazing enthusiasm and it really is catchy. And that's personally why we're so thrilled to be part of this journey with him and to see what he and his team put out month after month. But before we dive in and give you guys our actual thoughts on this first release, Let's break it down and make sure you get all the pertinent details of what is going into this experimental collection. Experimental collection releases are going to be available on the first Friday of each month exclusively at the distillery here in St. Louis. So that means you're going to have to come down in person and, and buy a bottle. But the good news is you get to try samples before you buy and you get to share your, your thoughts and feelings on it with Dave and the rest of his team as well as other fans of the distillery who have come down to participate. Bottles are going to be $20, and it's a 200 milliliter sample bottle. Each bottle is going to weigh in at a roughly 100 proof, and uh, the majority of the spirits will be aged in 15 gallon barrels for somewhere between 12 to 24 months. Now, the first release that we're going to be sampling here in a minute is a single malt, but Dave's also going to be releasing brandies, rums, bourbon, barrel aged gins, Amaros, vermouths, and even maybe some barrel-aged cocktails. So there's going to be a real interesting variety, and like I said, all those will be at 100 proof, except for probably the, the things like the vermouths and the Amaros. Currently, he has around 33 of these already aging in barrels, which means he only has about 27 left to go to put into barrels to be ready, but 33 of those are cooking right now and will be released as they're ready. All right, now that you know the details, let's go ahead and dive into... Uh, Experimental Collection Release Number 1, or X1 as we called it earlier. This is a single malt whiskey, once again, 100 proof, um, aged uh, somewhere between 12 and 24 months. And this one is uh, made in a similar fashion to a release that uh, was very, very well received from Still 630. It was a single malt called The Truth, which was... Uh, a cherrywood smoked malt which was fantastic I just sampled it the other night very amazing and this is a, a much younger cousin if you will so let's go ahead and dive into this one and see what it what it has to offer now I'm not gonna lie to you when you first knows this because it's so young you're gonna get a lot of toasted oak there's really no way around it the effects of a 15 gallon barrel um, you can't hide it at this young age but you know knowing that it's gonna be there it shouldn't be such a surprise but what I did find interesting was that my senses really, really acclimated to it quickly. Um, either that or it's really well balanced, much more than you would imagine for such a young age. Because as I continued to nose it, I started picking up you know, what you would expect from a single malt, sort of that biscuity cereal notes that are there, obviously from a young whiskey. But as you continue to go through it, you start picking up hints of sweet toffee. Um, and cocoa even and you know really at the end it reminded me a little bit of uh, some peanut brittle if you will um, not quite peanuty or praline but sort of that peanut sweetness and saltiness that you get from peanut brittle so a very unique nose a very promising nose for something so young and once again you're gonna get oak it's there but once again it's very well balanced in that the oak quickly goes past and once again those creamy toffee notes come out 
And then I start picking up what I want to describe as maybe apricots or other golden fruit notes that, uh, once again, really balance in well with the toastiness of the oak, the sweetness of the toffee, those golden fruits. Almost kind of merging together like baking spices, a little bit of, you know, what you want to drink during the winter time. And, you know, the finisher on this one, the burn is... Um, not overly strong, but it does last for a good good amount of time, which I enjoy. I love it when it kind of surges back a little bit. So there's a little bit of that, which is nice. But really what remains is that, that balanced hint of oak and what I'll describe as spice fruit cake. You know, once again, that whole kind of winterish, Christmassy feel um, that's very, very nice. A little bit on the dry side once again it's that oak coming through but the mouth feels really really nice and it shows a lot of promise you know this is the first release in the experimental collection wasn't sure what to expect you know other than still 630s uh, very very strong track record so I'm pretty excited that this is the first release um, it's a single malt not something that I drink a lot of but you know what for even as young as it is I wouldn't mind sipping on this and I'll probably finish the rest of my, my sample bottle with, without much delay. So I'm very, very excited about what uh, Dave's got in store for us. This is a great uh, initial example of what he's capable of. And quite frankly, I wouldn't mind seeing this one with a couple more years on it. Uh, maybe even mingled in a little bit more with some of that cherry wood smoked single malt that he's done. Either way, it's a fantastic start. We're super stoked to be part of it and I hope you guys will come back each month check out the new release with us and if you can in if you're in the st louis area let us know we'll join you go down on the first friday of the month we'll sample some stuff together and have a good time and guess what we might just put you on video as well so until next time everyone remember share your whiskey with your friends and drink curious cheers <laughs>